Christian women and girls are targeted by sexual violence. According to GSRP Report 2020, sexual violence is used against religious women both as a form of control and punishment. Religious persecution for women and girls takes two primary forms, either forced marriage or sexual assault. And both of these leave the women living in a lifelong hidden isolation of suffering in which they are walking around perhaps, but inside it is a living death. Open Doors International releases the gender report weeks after the World Watch List 2020, which ranks the top 50 countries where it is most difficult to be a Christian. The report analyzes gender-specific religious persecution and its implications for the local church. Sexual violence against women and girls affects their entire families. It affects their entire communities. Anybody that they're in a relationship with, they will be affected by this, not only because they've been hurt, but because of the social stigma that is associated with it and the way that people feel obliged to then respond to them differently. When it comes to responding to sexual violence that happens to women and girls, the local church can be part of the problem in the response, but can also be a beautiful part of the solution. Local churches can be a place of healing and acceptance of tremendous countercultural messaging of how God views uh, an individual no matter what is done to her or him.